Hey everyone, welcome back to the LMC Auto Channel. Um, today, I was getting ready to paint this uh, deck lid. This goes to a 2018 Chevy Cruze. And I was going to go ahead and spray it, but I thought it would be a good time to make a video. A little redemption after the last video I had painting something red. As you can see in that, the last video, the color match was quite, uh, quite off. Um, I talked to the customer um, when he came to pick it up, and I showed him, and... You know, he was just happy that it was done and the paint wasn't flaking. He wasn't too concerned with the with the color match. Um, so I ended up, what I ended up doing was, um, I called it a wash. I didn't charge the guy. I let him take it. You know, sometimes you just got to eat it. But he was happy and uh, all was good. So uh, today what we're going to be talking about is tri-coats. So this particular uh, Chevy... Um, is a tri-coat. I have to go look up the uh, paint code, but what what it uses is a base red and then a tinted clear. And from spraying these in the past, it's basically like doing a candy paint job. Um, but uh, it can be a little tricky and a little overwhelming for someone who doesn't know how to do it. So I figured we'd talk about it. Now the first thing I did couple days ago was I did some spray outs um, just to see where I would be at. Uh, this one here is done with um, black primer. Uh, then I put the base on uh, until we got full coverage and then it has two coats of the tinted clear. Uh, no clear coat on top of it. this spray out please excuse all the dust and stuff in it I just sprayed it quick in the garage just to get it done um, has my usual primer on it it's a light gray followed by the same full coverage of the base and this has one coat of the tinted clear this spray out has the light gray primer base to full cover and then two coats of the tinted clear. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or if it's because we're in the garage or anything, but there is a significant difference between all three. And I went up to the car and uh, found that this one was the match. This was the light gray primer, uh, base to cover full. Now in, in all of this, the base coat, you're just doing it to get it to full coverage. And then you adjust the color with the um, tinted clear but like any other thing and I find this mostly spraying reds is that what you have as your substrate under the base affects the color um, very much so so that's why I did the spray outs so what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna do the primer but make it a sealer we're gonna seal the whole thing and then start with our base do our two coats of the tinted clear and then we're going to finish it up with two coats of clear coat, right, of, of untinted clear coat. Um, reason being is you do want um, some more protection. The tinted clear doesn't have some of the UV protection and and build that you're looking for for a for a good long lasting paint job. Uh, plus, as you can see, I'm in a garage, so I am going to get a few dust nibs in there, and I need to be able to uh, wet sand and buff those out. What else can I say about it? Uh, I got it all taped off, ready to go. I'm just going to wet down the floor um, and get it going. Uh, in case anyone was wondering, this particular trunk lid, uh, when it came in, was all smashed in here. Uh, it had backed into something and totally caved in up here, uh, buckled the top. So I went ahead and, uh, and uh, did all the metal work to fix that. I uh, got it in primer. It feels really nice now. So now I'm just going to go ahead and wax and grease remove it, uh, wet the floor down, and start shooting some paint. And we'll go from there. All right.
All right, everybody, we got the base coat applied. Um, the next step is going to be our mid coat. I'll show you over here. Um, for this one, we're using uh, mid coat clean maroon. That's the part number there. And it takes a specific activator right here. And as you can see, it mixed up already in the cup. It's just like a candy. Very transparent. So I'm going to put some in the gun and go at it. Now there are a few things we're going to have to remember while shooting this. Um, for those of you who have never um, sprayed candies, you know, typical base coat, clear coat application, your overlap in between coats is going to be about 50%. Well, in spraying this, we're going to go about 75 to 80% overlap as we go. Um, we're going to try our best to uh, keep the modeling and, and tiger striping down to nil. And uh, don't go too heavy with the coats. You want a nice medium wet coat, we're going to do two coats of it. If you go too, too wet, all your body lines are going to, are going to, are going to, it, it's going to gather up on the edges and you're going to have a pronounced darker line there. So let's get the spray.
guys. I thought I'd give you a look at the uh, finished product out in the sun. I think it came out really nice. Nice gloss to it. Just got it out here baking in the sun for the day. So I hope this video was very inform uh, informa informative. Sorry, I can't talk today. For anybody who's maybe on the fence about doing tri coats, or you know, this the same technique applies to candies. So if you just take it one step at a time and concentrate on what you're doing, you can do it. Anybody can. Thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, criticisms, leave them down in the description. And uh, go ahead, click the like button, subscribe, do all that happiness. Have a good one. Bye.